Wow! I know a lot of things about this club, and the mascots was certainly one of them. And obviously, going to the Villa as a young kid, obviously they were the highlight of, of the match day, really. So, this is from about 1995 to 96, I think. Don't quote me on it, but this is the mascot they went for from that season. It's very, very weird because the mascots you see now are, are so well done compared to the ones you've seen um, from years and years ago. And rightfully so, because it's a little bit um, before the times of, of basically just 3D design and things like that, because now you can just create one and, and, and just order one. But it, it was very hard to do back in those days. So, yeah, they've gone for um, a nice gingery mane there. The eyes are a little bit weird. The face is weird. And you can see the guy inside of it. Now, if, if that happened, you'd probably get the sacking nowadays. I don't really like it. It's not really the iconic lion art I saw growing up. But this one, going into the 2000s, the Hercules I saw growing up, was very iconic. They've gone for a nice... Um, I'd like to say a brown mane because it looks pretty brown to, on the picture. This was going into the 2000s, so I was born in 2002, so 19. So this was a little bit before my time, but I believe during the late um, the late 2000s they changed it up. So this was in the early 90s to 2000s stage, I think, when this Hercules actually um, was about. So. Yeah, they've gone for a nice a nice brown mane there. They've gone for um, an open mouth. They've got the freckles on his cheeks there. Just an iconic mascot for me. It, well, it's not necessarily the best one now because the one we have now is a lot better. But that was the one I saw growing up and that was the one that basically made me go to the matches just to see that guy. Obviously, it was the highlight of my match day. So, obviously, the Bella one too is just a little bit weird, I think, because I don't really know what a lioness looks like, but I know I know lionesses are different to lions. They don't have the manes, they don't have most of the things that the male lions do you, you know. I'm just rambling on guys. But I don't I don't really know. It it looks pretty clean from where I, I'm from what I can see. It's a clean design, but I don't really like that Bella at all. The Bella we've got now is far better. So, um, going into the the mid two thousands, they've actually changed it up a little bit. The the mascots are a lot more big and bunkier in the pictures. They've changed the colour of the mane. They've changed the colour of his face. They've made it a lot, lot bigger for the guy to obviously be inside the costume. That's pretty much all they've done for this one. So going into I believe the two thousand and. 2009 times that's where it gets a little bit creepy because as you can see from the pictures i'm about to send you well not send you but on the screen if you look very closely you can actually see the guy's head inside of it but it's not any old head basically they just put a hat on the guy inside it and he just looks fucking creepy inside of it and I have a picture of Hercules in my bag somewhere. And on the picture, there's a picture on the screen right now. If you zoom in closely, you can clearly, clearly see his eyes rolling into the back of his fucking head. It's very creepy. And I'm so, so happy that they changed it up. They had a third mascot into the actual stadium. So this was Chip. The debut of Chip was in the 2009-10 season. Firstly, when I saw this, seven-year-old me shit myself. I shit myself. Because I was like, what happened to his mane? Why has he all gone red for? Why have they all got fucking claret and blue spikes on top of their head? That's what I was going through at the, mo at the moment in, in time. It was just a little bit weird. It scared the shit out of me because the heads were huge. They look fucking massive <laughs> and like, yeah, but now it don't bother me at all because I'm an old, I'm an old man now. I'm, I'm a grown ass adult. So, but 
yeah, I really like this. I really, really like this because they changed it to superheroes. And if you actually think, what's the opposite of a hero, a villain, heroes and vi you, you know, you get the idea. So I like the little the little lightning ball they have on top of their heads. I like the the sculpt of the head. I like how the the texture is like a little little furry mane thing, and it's not even a mane. It's like a fucking I don't know what shape that is, but it's it's quite weird how they've done the mane. But I like the I like the face. The face is good. I like I like how they did Bella. Obviously, they made they made the costume a bit skinnier, so it's almost like they're she's wearing like a, a like tights as like the hands and the fingers because normally it's just f coated fur but they've actually made it so she can actually perform i've, I've seen her do fucking backflips and handstands and stuff like that so that's probably the reason why the the heads are actually clipped on so they can't fall off which is very very helpful and obviously we've we've obviously chip being the one of the smaller smaller guys that'll be very helpful for him too so yeah moving on to the current aston villa mascot now the heads have changed and i i, I like to think that that, that they, they're not going to change again i don't think they need to but they've changed once again and they've been given a just a completely different look and a little bit more of a modern look so now, this actually was taken today at the Pride Rewards and all the mascots was there on Birmingham. I was at Birmingham yesterday, so I could have potentially um, saw that. But Bella's head is um, a lot more modern. They've changed the look of her face. It's almost like aging, isn't it, really? You know, like how we age. It's almost like like that, what they've done to this costume here. It's quite, it's quite modern. I like what they've done to the head and... That's basically all they've done. All they've done is they've given a, a, a just a little bit more of a modern head. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, that was the video, guys. I hope Hopefully you guys like that. What's your guys' thoughts on uh, the video? And obviously leave a link down below on who's your favourite mascot. Thanks so much for watching Not The Villa. And take care. Take care, guys.